Good evening, Wizard of Mo Games here again. I am the Wizard, and uh, last week, while waiting for the ninja to arrive, uh, the rest of us threw this out on the table and played a quick game and thought, you know, this game is really fun, simple, quick. We need to record this. So uh, we decided to put it on the table today. Of course, the ninja is at a disadvantage, so he'll be learning how to play, but the rest of us will be cutthroating our way through it. So, uh, Mission to Planet Hex, and we've also added Beyond Mission to Planet Hex, um, which will be new to the rest of us as well. Um, we have mission files. Our goal is to upload six mission files around our uh, hex here. The first player to get all six wins the game. So we should read those. <laughs> yeah. The symbols are on the outside, right? So we have alien, space objects, planets, they all fit into this little paragraph, this scenario paragraph. And if you complete it, then you read it, and it sort of tells the story. Uh, I am running Anger of the Gods, and uh, I have to have two alien cards, two object cards, a single dilemma card, and a single planet card uploaded to my mission file. And once I do that, then I'll read the card, inserting the names from the cards to create a little mini story as to what happened. So my mission file is a routine mission, so a basic mission. I need an alien, a dilemma, an object, a space, and two planets. I've got a space con. Shows the traffic's backed up going to the space con where there's aliens going to be winning intergalactic championships of popular board games. Special appearances by aliens and more aliens. Yeah, you got three aliens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mine's intergalactic war. So I got to get an alien, alien, a planet, a planet, a dilemma, and a space. All right. So we know what we need and we know what to keep you from getting. So on your turn, you, um, with the expansions, there are some beginning of turn effects. Um, there are some new cards that go outside of our mission. It's a control panel. Um, there are certain events that are tokens, and they'll, when you play them as an event, they'll go out in front of you, and they will take effect until the beginning of your turn, at which point they will be discarded. That is uh, the new beginning of turn step. Um, after that, you're going to get three actions, and you can do... Um, one of five actions, and you could repeat the same action if you like. Uh, there'll be a map action where you get to play a map tile to the board. First player is going to be able to add the space and planet here, and you'll be able to add it adjacent to another tile on the board. Um, there's a move action where you're going to roll this die, and it will determine how many spaces you can move. And when you move and land on a planet, they have these little data cubes. And when you land there, you can collect them and put those on your mission file. And that will come into play for the next section. Um, if you do hit a planet, it will end your movement and you lose any excess that you rolled on your die. So, but if you chose to move and land and move and land and move and land, you could collect data from three different planets. You cannot go back to the same planet that you've collected data from in your turn. Then there is an upload action, which is the meat of how we're going to try to win this game. We can spend three of these data cubes, and it will allow us to take a card from our hand, which we start with six, and place it onto our mission file, like I would place an alien in an alien spot. Some of them will have effects that occur when you play them as events. Others might have effects when you play them to your mission file. Um, a new effect now is the, uh, I lost it, is the booster. If it has booster in one of the banners, now that tile will have an ongoing effect throughout the rest of the game. So if something triggers it while it's in your system, it might be that you trigger it, it might be that other players trigger it. So it sort of gave a little bit more flesh to the mission files instead of just cards just sitting there doing nothing. Now you have more choices. Um, you do that six times and you win. 
there is a refresh action, which allows you basically to discard one card from your hand and draw another hex. And then there's event actions, and they have events written in the top instead of, uh, instead of map. And you play them and follow the instructions on the card, and then they're discarded, and they go away. Again, unless they have token on them, then they'll stay in front of you. At the end of the turn, you're going to draw up or discard down to six hexes. Because there, there are cards in here that will load your hand, and there are cards in here that will deplete your hand. But you'll always end your turn with six, and then any end-of-turn effects, maybe on those uh, cards, booster cards, or some of the tokens that are in your control panel might have some end of round effects. It's pretty simple. It's pretty fast. It's, uh, I think, two to four players should play to 30, 90 minutes. I think the first time we played, we did it in about an hour. It was three of us. Now we have four with one learner, but Ninja can catch on pretty quick. So we will roll these dice twice. The highest roll gets to go first. Whoever goes first gets to place this space hex and this planet hex anywhere around the starting planet there. I'm thinking we should use these for our player pieces. So you can In, see instead of the ships? So you can't see them very well. The ships are very well. Is it easier to see where we are? Easier to see. Can you see? I see that. It's a whole lot easier to see by pulling our ships off. These would normally be used to count your actions. We're pretty good at that, but uh, what I'll do is just have two actions and my third action, and I'll oh, yeah, do that on day. That. That's a lot of work. Yes, that is a lot of work. We're not doing it. That's a lot. All right, so let's roll these twice. I have rolled a one and a three, a four. I'll not be going first. Five. Six, 11. It looks like an, seven. an emperor will be going first. So you get to choose to put these. When the planets come out, there'll be a certain number of cubes that go on it. Once they're depleted, they're gone, unless there's an effect that puts more cubes on it. Um, you may discard two hexes. Is that from your hand? Yeah, that has a stop sign on it. So basically, when you go through that space, you have to stop. No matter what your movement says, it'll end that action. You'll have to stop there, and then you have an option where you can discard two hexes, and that would be from your hand. Um, you've got the rule book over there. I what do. Is, uh, surprise. What is what? Surprise. It's the instance. Surprise or instance, they can be played out of turn. Um, usually the surpri surprise. Oh, okay. Yeah, surprises can be played to stop other players from doing things or to give you. It's an event. It plays in as an event on your turn, but out of turn, you play it as a surprise, and okay. you can stop things from a little bit of take that. Not a lot. This whole game is take. All right. <laughs> Let's. Oh, that's right. So planets can only be adjacent to space hexes, not other planets, unless they're special. And, and, yeah, unless they have specials. <clears throat> Let's do this for my first action. So he's done a map action. That's his first the action. Part of chaos. Roll when you land. One, do not collect data. Delete a hex from your mission file. Two to six collects that much data here. All right. And this has six data. That's only when you land on it. Yeah. I'm going to roll for move. All right. So we're going to put six data on this planet. And six. here's roll the move. He's, He's moving one it. and stopping to lose. lose. I kind of wish I wrote that six now. Three. I'll get three. So he's collected three data, and he goes straight on to his mission file, and he already has enough to start uploading. So he's used two was, actions. Yep, that's two actions. So... Hmm... Let's just go ahead and spend three to upload. All right. It's no ongoing easy. effect or special when you attach it. That's right. the one he tried to play last, but he couldn't. I couldn't because you never had anything on the table. <laughs> yeah. Well, now I look, right. I'm like, nobody's got it. So his turn is done. So now he draws up to six cards in hand, four discards down, and his turn is over. That brings the scry up. Oh, he's going to play a map. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right, he has played a space map, <clears throat> congested space. Contested. I also jump into that same place with my token. You're gonna make me move this whole thing. He's green. I'm green. Uh, you're gonna make me move. <laughs> Please give me three or more. Well, I had two of them. Did you actually get three or more? I would have got all three. three yeah. There's only one left. Three of them's a download. Why did you get the cubes off of there? You gotta so land one at a time. Just get, get them one at a time. So I placed and I moved. Can upload. Look for all if you roll higher. Look at that player's hand. Choose the dilemma and put it into your hand. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. And uh, when it says play an event hex, it's a hex is from your hand. It's card. It says event on the top. Yeah. You just play it out in the open, and then it yeah. happens, and then it goes away. Yeah. They don't stick around. It's just an event. It's short term. All right. I'm not going to do any of those things. All right. So, what I will do is throw away. How many can you throw away when you refresh? Um, you can't throw oh, just away. one. Discard a hex to draw a hex. Yeah. <clears throat> Yuki. This one's going to be hard to place. So we're discarding that. This and it's now Dave's turn, correct? All right. Uh, let's see. And that's a discard, not a dump. Discard, yeah. The dump is from the deck. Dump is from the top of the deck. Three, four, five, and six. I guess I'll roll to move. Two. I'll move here. Mm -hmm. I'll roll for that. Uh, if you get a one, you get nothing. Anything but a one? Yeah, three. And you're only going to get the one. All right. Yep. So this one has been farmed of data unless something comes in there. And, and then move action, upload action, refresh action. Uh, Y'all came in and took all those resources. And then I'm going to play its event action. Opponents may not move onto hexes adjacent to the hex where your ship is stopped. All right, wow. and that's a token, so yeah. that's going to sit down in front of you, and it's going to last until the beginning of your next turn. The gas cows of Nereus. <laughs> so you, you, you stink so bad that nobody can move close to you. All right? So what, or, so what did they say? Opponents may not move onto hexes adjacent to the hex where your ship is stopped. So we can move through them, but we can't stop onto, we can't move onto them. So basically you can't move off that square or that hex. That's what I'm asking, they move onto or move through? It says onto. may not move onto hexes that are adjacent to where your ship, so they can't move off. Yeah, that's what oh, I think, they were stuck that's right. there. That's right, you're stuck. For this round. Isn't that nice? Is that your three? Um, I did a move action. I guess is that an action rolling that thing on there? Mm -mm. No. Nope. I did a event yeah. action. Okay. I got one more. And a refresh action. And then my last one is the drop to hits. I no, know you can, you can do any of these multiple times. Yeah. Oh, you did a refresh too? No, I did not. I just want to make the cards I have my chance. You could play go. another event. Well, I guess I could. Yeah. I mean, if you want it. Most events are one shots, but the token gets to stick around. Mm, I should have done something that last turn and I didn't. I remember, do you have to do three actions? Uh, I think you must, yeah. You have to do. Uh, what does this one say? Um, the other one. <clears throat> do three actions each turn. I'm gonna do this one. This is a dilemma. All right. Which is an event. Relocate a single ship one hex away from its current position on the board. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, so we're all trapped here now? Pretty much. Where did he grab you, Will? 
<clears throat> All right. And then I, uh, I guess I can draw up to six cards. Sure, uh, yeah, to your total of six. And then throw that thing in the discard pile. Right there? No, that's a good that stays in that's page page in the beginning of his next right. turn. My bad. Token. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess there's really only thing that I can do. I'm going to play an event, an electromagnetic pulse. It's an all play. Each player deletes all tokens in their dashboard, which is that event, the cow one and then draws a hex for each token deleted this way. So that's deleted, mm -hmm. and you get to draw another hex. Well, that was my first heck? turn. Huh? Hey. You want to let all them guys move around too? On their turn, I need to get some stuff. You need to move too. That's right. <laughs> you just helping them guys out? All right. Uh... I'm going to try this. I'm going to play another event. Oh, these cards are so crazy. Because it's an event, it's going to instruct me to do something which will not take up any other actions other than my event. Roll, then dump hexes equal to that number. As I dump each hex, I may choose to immediately play it if able. Mm. A reality hemorrhage. I'm going to do something on your turn, though. All right. This is before you take any action. You got a surprise. Ah, oh, I messed up. It is my action. Is that your is that your first action? Or nope. is the other card on your first No, the other one was my first one. All right. So I'm rolling. I get a two. So I get to dump two actions to plan it. I may play it if I choose to. Uh, or when you play this, you may immediately play any number of other planets. <laughs> wow. Whenever a player plays a planet, add one to your data storage if it's boosted in here. No, it's all under the booster effect. Wow. Oh, yeah. And it has 11 on it. That means you I'm going to go ahead and play this planet. Let's put it up here. I'm going to put 11 tokens on it. Or, I'm sorry, data file. All right, and then my second dump. So oh, this is 11 data tokens on here? Five, five. five and five and one, okay. And I'll dump that. So that's my second action. And my third action. I already messed up. I could have, I could have taken that data before you got it. Really? I didn't read my cards. I'm going to go ahead like and move. Very hard to keep up. I roll a four. <clears throat> I'm not going to go through there because I got to stop. So I'm going to go here and here. And when I land here, I can collect data. So none of this is into effect because it's not laying here. Yeah. So I collect one data. Those are my three actions. I have four cards. I now have five and six. That's one round of play. A lot of explanation, but as it goes, it gets quicker. And you just basically follow the rules on the cards. It's just a lot of reading. Let me do a movement. Thank you, Bill. Oh, oh a lot of reading. Well, oh, thank you for, yeah. Thank you, Wizard. <laughs> for freeing us up. Mm -hmm. Um, that's one action. Let's move again. All right, we're all pretty good today. It's two. And then I 
I am going to play a faulty traffic transporter. Exchange the positions of your ship and an opponent's ship on the board. This does not count as a move. Neither player lands or collects data. Then draw up to six. Third action. Then draw one. Two. Move. Yay. <clears throat> now for these three. Going to play an event dilemma. No, to upload. The upload, I should say, an event <laughs> dilemma. It's the unra unraveling of a revolutionary algorithm. Your tokens are not deleted at the beginning of your turn. So you're not going to get that effect. Yeah, right? because you're docking it. Oh. If you played it in as event, you said it out as a token. When you play another token in your dashboard. Yeah. Is this not the dashboard? No, this is your mission file. Okay. The yeah. dashboard is this. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah. And you can pick it back up. And that's no, what I'm good. Those you're usually just putting in there for either boost effect to boost. and for their icon. Mm -hmm. So they're multi-use cards. They can be done for all kinds of stuff. You can make a hat. You can make a brooch. There's a sale at Pennies. Did you see that guy that got the world record for building like a, like a palace or whatever it was out of playing cards? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's wow. pretty big. Imagine him using these cards. Now I'm going to play a trans world. Okay. So you move, cards. then you did that, so now you're doing your last action. Yep. Replace any planet on the board with this, but only if you can relocate that planet and ships to a new legal location. Reset both planets to the relocated planet's starting data. Mm hmm. Let's go with this uh, crazy thing here. Uh -huh. This here. So that's going to get six on it. It's right here. <clears throat> and this one gets six also. Oh, so they both get six. Uh -huh. Yeah, because it matches the amount. And that should be all three of my things. I draw two cards. And goody goody. Hey. All right. I'm going to roll on this clip that I'm sitting on. That doesn't count as an action. Yeah, it says roll when you land. You have to uh, land to okay. do it. Hmm. And I think you were already on there, so you'd have to. You have to move and come, come back to it to land on. Yeah. I think you got to land somewhere else, I think. So you can't just go oh, here. Oh. Then. But notice how the scribe puts you in a situation where you have to stop in congested space if you move out because it's got a stop sign on it. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, I didn't know <laughs> that when I did it. <laughs> first blood. Actually, Ninja drew first blood. <laughs> yeah. Put that there. Uh, you Can may be played adjacent to... Dextrani major, but it cannot be played next to another planet. Oh, okay. It could be major and minor can go together. Usually they can't be played next to planet. I can play it anywhere. It doesn't have to be next, next to where I'm at, right? Yeah. 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 right? All right, and it has three. This may be played to that. Mm -hmm. If it is, add two to that. So that's it. Oh, to both planets. Yeah. Okay. Dextrani minor. Minor and major together. Okay, so I have to, if I move, I have to go here, yep. Yeah, so you got to roll. roll. So got to yep. Yeah. And one. <laughs> Boom. All right, that's your second action. So you may choose an opponent. You both roll. If you roll higher, look at that opponent's hand and choose a dilemma from it and put it into your hand. But if they win the roll, they don't get to do the same thing back. So I roll against so me? Okay. I'm not rolling against him. <laughs> it's a tie. Nothing. 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 
All right, you got one more action. Interesting spot over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So, you know... I guess I'll discard this. To draw another? Yeah. All right. Entry three, now draw up to six. Yep. I got he already it. got it. All right, so he didn't want to get rid of any of his stuff. All right, that brings to me the first thing I want to do is get away, move. And I shall move. One, two, get rid of this. I will move again. <laughs> Great. I'm going to upload it. Yeah. And I. Yeah, I see that. M and I. E and D. That will move here. I have to stop. That was my second action. And I may discard two hexes. So I'm going to discard that one. And. And that's it. Um, I wonder if I have to discard all of them. You may discard two hexes. I guess it's either don't or do, and it would be both. I guess. Or does it have to be up to two? I would assume it'd be up. Okay. If that's, yeah. if that's what we're ruling, we'll go with it, and that's how everyone will play it. And my third action will be... <clears throat> is an event, a high-stakes game of snooger poker. All play. Each player chooses a hex from their hand, if able. Then all players will show that chosen hex at the same time. Any player whose hex shares no type with any other player's hex adds three to their data storage. Mm. Oh, play any hex? Put, put any hex face down. You're basically, we're going to reveal them all at the same time. And whoever doesn't match gets... And if nobody, if somebody doesn't match anybody else's type, they're going to get three data. What if three of us don't match? We don't get three data. Get yeah, reveal. I have an event, or I'm sorry, an object, an object, space. we cancel, space in this, so you two get three Data. And these come back to your hand, by the way. Very nice. That ends my turn. This was discarded. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you see there is some luck aspect to the game, but there's a lot of mitigation as well. And if you know it going in, and the game is fun. Um, I don't think anybody will get cool stuff butt here. hurt if they get a card play against them or anything. I'm going to pay the three. Three. Mm -hmm. Let's put this here. You get an additional action on your turn as long as, as long as all your actions are of different types. So that is a booster action. So he has that slotted. And that's nice. Plus, he also has two mission files uploaded. I'm falling behind, folks. I can't get the data I need. Uh, and how long did tokens stay in play? Um, they're played in as a event on your turn, and they stay all all the way until the beginning of your turn, and you'll do a cleanup to discard them, unless somebody plays a card to make you get rid of them. Delete them. If it's a booster, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. If it's a booster, it's attached okay. to your planet. But I have. So that was your first action? Yeah. I really know where fun to move. I've been tracking. When it says at least one type of hex, that's this. Space, alien, dilemma. Is that what type is? Yeah, really uh, type. We'll look that. Make sure it's not object or uh, make sure it's not space. map. Planet. Map and space. This one not says the symbols are. This is part. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but it says hex that shares at least one type with another. What is type? That's this, right? Or is that this at the top of the book? <clears throat> well, he's looking that up. 
Hmm, maybe where I want to go. Type is those icons. These icons. Correct. Okay. And if it's just got a white X, it's any type. All right. Second action. Second action. Six. I go there, I have to stop. Let's go. go, go. Collect one here. So that's two actions. Mm hmm. Nine last. But according to this, I can do one more. If they're all different. So they're you've done different. a move and you've done a upload. upload. Yeah. So if this one's different than both of those, you'll get one additional action, but it'll have to be one. Not one of those three. So let's do this. A map action. So a map move and upload. Cap this space twice when moving your ship, except when you stop or start here. A neutron storm. Mm-hmm. And then for my last one. It had to be refresh or event. Event. Token, players may not physically roll dice. Actions, effects that require a physical roll of the dice are canceled, cannot be played. Look at and that's you. still the beginning of your next turn. Nice play. Nice play. Well, then you just made me have to do this. Oh, God. Are you going to get rid of it already? No. Yeah. You can get rid of some of your stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Since I can't roll... Want to give up one of these aliens, which I need a bunch of. Play an event. Swarm of Hillog. Show any number of aliens from your hand. Do more, including that one. Three. Mm -hmm. Take that many hexes at random from an opponent's hand and put them into yours. Yeah. I thought you were going to take my bottom one. You can have all parts of mine. One more. No, it's only two. Three. Yeah, I, I showed three. Oh, I didn't see any. Including, including, including that one. Including that one? Yep. Yeah. I noticed there are several that do clarify that, including that code. Trying to hold out. Trying to hold out. Oh, wow, look what I got. All right, so that's discarded. Yes. Uh, including this. So that's your first. All right. Let me let me take a moment to read these things that I got from him. Oh no, no! I can't play immediately. I got to read them. I thought he was going to take them down here. That would have hurt more. From there? Mm -hmm. Oh, from your mission file. He's, He's doing good. He's just helping. There me are out. certain cards that'll have you delete cards from mm -hmm. their mission file, or take them, or uh, exchange them. And if they don't match, <laughs> it screws them, <laughs> or makes you play stuff to them. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. He had his hand loaded up last time we played, and he played all six of his at once on one turn because he had a card that allowed him to do it. It was basically Exodia. Yeah. If you did it, you won. Plus, I had to have like 12 data or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he did. He Actually, no, I had two cards. One was, just, uh, no, one was to put all of them out for 12. And then the other one was if I had a certain, if I had one of each in my hand. Mm -hmm. And that's the one I ended up going with. Yeah, the other was the lucky 13. And yeah. he ended up uh, right, discarding it or not using it or putting it out as one of the ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you guys are thinking, oh, okay, yeah. he gave up on that, but I had the other card. Mm -hmm. You're just too freaking hard. I got him right good. before he won. Yeah. And so you took it. He did. I say it's pretty balanced, except that right now it's so way my second thing. Open space, that's two. Yep. And I can't roll dice to move. So. Man, these are useless to me. I told you. <laughs> But you can have them all, with the exception of one. I still don't understand how to play that one. It's not an event, it's a map space, but it's got something on it with a booster. 
when do you play those things? When they're here already? When it's here? Does booster? It, yeah. No, so like mine, the booster, so I always have this effect. When it's on okay. your mission file, it's considered Okay. Active. Okay. So I'm actually going to discard one of your events to refresh. All right. To see what's here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to discard one now to get down to six at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Shit. I didn't need to do that. Could have been downloaded. That's okay. I'll do it next time. I was going to say it wouldn't have been that one. Hmm? So it wouldn't have been that one. Mm -hmm. All right, you're up. Nice. That's right, you can't move. I got you. Yep, that would have been a perfect thing to do since I couldn't move. It was downloaded and I forgot to do it. You still have to discard one? I say you took like eight cards from my hand. You had to have to yep. <laughs> Andrew, we're falling behind here. Yep. Hard to do when you can't move around. The squirrel head nebula. For a second, I thought that said orange nebula. <laughs> That's cool. So did you watch that full thing? Did you watch um, Board Game Co.'s Spiritfire? Visit to Spiritfire. They had a not. vlog, a vlog of him and the little green haired chick going to Orange Nebula. Professor Meg. Yeah, Professor Meg. And uh, it's pretty cool. Tom and Mark and yeah, I'm my two and, and they. They'll put a video up on thoughts on Spirit Fire, but <clears throat> nobody can actually explain how it works <laughs> without yeah, spoiling it. The it combination was cool. of settled and uh, vindication. And, and, and to me, it seems a lot like uh, Ether Fields too. It's you, the story is there, but you're creating your own story. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And he found it hard to say. You can put fifty. 100, 250 hours in it. Just never wow. It's forever. So yeah. It's a campaign, too. Kind of. Yeah. But you play until your fire runs out, and then you get a card from some special deck that adds in, and the next time you play, changes the way it works. Um, you up? He's working it out in his head. Oh, it's my turn. I thought you were saying yeah, that. Yeah, like three times. It's discarded. It's building a deck. Oh, man. Right. Choose a salvo. Choose an opponent <clears throat> and roll. Oh, Can geez. I do that? Wait. Well, you cannot roll dice. Huh? No dice rolling. Players may not physically oh. roll dice. Okay. Let me see. No dice. Oh, no cigar. Good. How's that? Add one to one plus one. Add one to every plan on the board. I'm guessing it means data. Really? Yeah. It's probably wow. Nice. I need yep. these two. Those three. All right. That's one. All right. All that data sitting around and no way to get to it. Pick on this one? We're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. Even when it wouldn't let us roll. I don't know. We're going to fix that. I mean, you took half the cards out of my hand. Yeah, and there weren't none of them you could use, so <laughs> it didn't hurt you any. It hurt my feelings. <laughs> You're the one that made it where we couldn't roll. <laughs> you hosed everybody for a whole round. Y'all still played three cards. Possibly. You finish no, up? No, section one, two, three, four, five. Now why is she doing this? Wait. 
I'm sticking it up. I ain't gonna do nothing else. Up. Nothing else. You could refresh. Just card a card and draw a card. Yeah, I got cards I don't want to get rid of. You can do you like flow. No, can't do that. Yeah. Map action. You can play a map tile. Don't have one. Can't do a move. Well, I can. I guess. I guess I did a refresh action or an event. Does not matter? Yeah. Doesn't say whether you have to do all three actions. Okay. Huh? I guess you get to a point where you can't. So yeah. What if you can't set up? Five. The turn. First player takes Five. first turn. First turn. You That's may like take a total of up to three actions on your turn. As many as three, as few as zero. There, there you go. There you go. That's that. Hi, Amanda. All right. So you can take as few as zero or as many as three actions. So you don't have to take them all. You're done. I'm up. My first action is to play a map action. And I will play a map action. I'll play the Monastery of Well Wishers. And it gets six data cubes. We have four, five, six. Once per turn, you may, may discard an object to collect three data there. Nice. All right, that's my first action. My second action is to play an enigmatic alien pyramid. It's a token. Any player who would collect data must roll a one to five that collect nothing. But if they roll a six, they collect twice the amount of data. And it's a token. It's going to sit here all the way around. And then... Interesting. Uh-huh. As my third, I'll do a refresh. I will discard this map to draw that. And my turn is over. I draw two cards. One, two. On a one to five, you collect nothing. Correct. Doesn't collect data. Zero. I uh, your token goes away at the beginning of your turn. Yes, so I can move. Of course you can. <laughs> you can move anywhere and get as much of that data as you want. <laughs> if you roll a six. So is it when you land or just collect data? Any player who would collect data must roll. So must. Even for this one. If you discard an object, you can like nothing you stink so that's the second term we don't get to do anything you can move anywhere you want now and do other but the things the point of moving is to collect data oh there's well, more the, this game is you got to roll a five or higher and you collect data right that's 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 you roll six you get double data yeah you see that double the data what are the chances of you rolling that six one in seventeen percent one in six 16.6. What's the score? Your game doesn't start till. What's the score at six? Yeah. Who are you playing? Yes. Oh, yes. That's worse than mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Don't tell me that your butt is chap. No, really. you can't move. That's one thing. But to move and think you're going to get something. You can't take anything. Yeah, that's. I had all kinds of big plans to get about 15 this time. And I can't get none of them. Because if you roll a move. six, she's the only time you can get it. What about the game today that was uh, six to three? What was that? Is that a ball, ball game? Ball uh, Miss, baseball game? Ole Miss versus somebody or Mississippi State. Sounds like a baseball game. <laughs> Three. Hey, what you gonna do? Hey, that counts as two. Yeah, I rolled a five. Um, okay. Is that your first action? Yeah. All right. Well, when you land, so I guess I roll this first and then roll that. Yeah, because this is the time I to collect it all. A one. One. You get nothing to not collect data anyway. What was that? One makes you, you not collect data, delete a hex from your mission. Ooh, ow, that hurt. No, I'm glad. I can get a better one in there. <clears throat> if I could have collected data. 
And if you rolled that, you would have collected that much, but then you would have had to roll to a dice. Which I would have lost it anyways. But if you rolled a six, you could have got double that. Yeah, I would have lost it anyway. <laughs> you rolled a six, you rolled no a six to get 12. Yeah. No, like there's no way I was going to. He would have just get everything on it. There's yeah, seven on it. We got That's nice. Uh, so that was one action, two. Come on, put some space out there. There's nowhere for There's one place for a planet right now. Unless you get one of those adjacent ones. You must subtract three from all your rolls for the rest of the turn if you start there. If you start there. Negative space. That's nice. That's your second action playing a map top. Second action. I think that's going to be it. Draw four. He's done. All right. My first part of my turn, mm -hmm. download data. Can download data, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing saying I can't. Mm -hmm. Can download an alien. Wasn't surprised and had a great surprise. Let me read it to you. Alien doppelganger. Play this right after an opponent's upload action. Immediately upload a hex that shares at least one type with the uploaded hex for free. As a surprise. So That's I, pretty nice. Yes. Or the booster, which is going to help me now because this one here. Opponents may not upload any hex for the type that matches an empty slot in your mission file. So no aliens, no space, no planets. No dilemmas. No, because it's well, only empty, empty, only the empty slot. Ah, that was a surprise. All right. Is this when you move through it? Yeah, or you have to start off with the booster is. If you end your move by right landing on a planet and not on to the data store, matches. You can move through it, but you can't move through these right. slack lines. You have to go. You can't move through those borders. I'm sure you, you can eradicate the borders at some point. point. You can't move through the borders. You have to move through the open part. Yes. If you <laughs> end your move by landing on a planet, planet alien. add one to your data. That's yeah, if you move no, through. If you, if you move through it to land on a planet, it says you would add a data to your schedule file. I've got oh. two more aliens in there. Yeah. That's not collecting data. See this? Mm -hmm. It's a map tile. It says if you move through this, if you end your move by landing on a planet, add one to your data store. It's not collecting. So it would be a free data because you grabbed it when you went through the hemorrhoid field. Mm -hmm. Can't go through the black and white lines. Yep. You know, so so the those are border part. restrictions. So, so that was my first part. The second part will be to go ahead and roll movement. One. Uh, you know, you could go to open space. I'm going to go to open space. Oh. It's going to open a restaurant. And the third thing I'm going to do. Is oh, gonna... by the way. What? Guess what? What? Something that we haven't been doing. Yes. You cannot upload a mission file unless you are in space. Oh, that's right. You that's can't right. do it on that's a planet. Right. Well, we'll have to remember that now. You cannot do it when you're on a planet. That's right. Yeah. What's an open up a mission? The purple. You have to be yeah. here. You put cards on this. You have to be in space. You can't do it while on a planet. Can't do it while on a planet. So, uh, okay. All right. Well, let's just say I moved first, and then I uploaded my mission. <laughs> so mine works out, but everything else we did screwed up. So, um, hmm, that's pretty cool. That's no biggie to me. So the third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print one, get rid of that. And I am done, Dave. What's your hand size? One, two, three, four, five. Draw one more. Mm -hmm. And we're good. All right, I'm going to lay this planet down. Uh, map hex. Space. An asteroid field. If you end your move by landing on a planet, add one to your data store. All right, I'm going to roll to move. Mm -hmm. Or that is one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. If you hit a planet, you got to stop. This counts as two as well. Oh, and I just go there straight across. All right. 
You gotta roll when you land there. Yep. You gotta roll when you land there. So you gotta roll two sixes. I roll first. Six. Six. Okay. Now, if you would collect that, now you gotta roll again. Uh, uh, not that means you would have gotten six from there. Would have got twelve. Mm -hmm. He would have got everything on it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, so you're first. You played a map tile. Secondly, so read, read, read that to me again. What's going on over this there? one? Yes. If you pass through this and land on a planet, yeah. you just add a data to your. Okay. Did you get your data? What's the other one? He didn't go through. Oh, that's right. He couldn't. What happens if you? What's the other one say? This one. No. This? Yes. It takes two spaces to move through That's that. That's it? What does that other thing say? Because I can't read them for If you start your turn here, you got to subtract three from all your rolls for the rest of this turn. Okay. And then what is the planet down there? Once per turn, you may discard an object to collect three data from this instead of just one. Nice. You land on it, and get then your you one, then discard an object, and get three more? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the collecting is part of your move, and then that says once per turn, discard an object Man. to collect it. All right, I'm going to play this event. Some isomorphic lion harness. Whenever an opponent takes a move action, you may move your ship one hex immediately after. Okay, that's a token, so it's staying on the table. All right. So you're pulling along with them? Yep. Yeah. Ah, you're dragging it on a leash. All right. So my event goes away. Tractor beam. Yay, now we can collect stuff. All right, let's see. I think what I'm going to have to do is move. Three. This distress beacon is a surprise that can be played while somebody else is moving. The Correct. next planet on which an opponent of your choice lands I get to move one must one. be the one closest to that player's ship. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you can force somebody to immediately go in their role. All right. So he moved off of that. Uh, my second action will be... Getting these little things is hard. So if you move... Wow. That's powerful. What does that say? What? Whenever somebody else has moved, I get to move one hex. Nice. My second action is move. <clears throat> I thought you did move. Yeah, I can move again. Oh, I can move three that's times. True. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to move into congested space, and I have to stop. I get to move one X. Yep. And I get the roll. Uh, he moved. I don't he think should that be able to get no, 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 no. That was the last hex he was on. You can't fit that same hex twice without going to another planet. I thought you could if you went into space and came back. I think this is just going to move planet. you around, but I don't think you're going to get to take the actions. It's just going to reposition you. Whenever an opponent makes a move action, you may move your ship one hex immediately afterward. So it's not an actual move action, it's just putting it somewhere. Say there. All right. Then you'll be able to do whatever loop you're looking to do. Um, I'm in congested. I may choose an opponent. We both roll. If I roll higher, I can choose a dilemma from their hand look at their hand and choose a dilemma to put it in mine. Um, sure, I might as well do it while I'm here because it's part of the planet action, right? Or part of the move action. Who are you choosing? I wonder why he didn't go around. Because I'm going to do an upload as my third action. And I have to be in space. Mm -hmm. 
Everybody should have cards. Dave's the one that doesn't want to get rid of anything from his hand. It's true. I'll go Dave. Dilemma. I rolled a four. The and you lost. Well, I just, I don't get to take it. And now I'm going to upload three of these. Well, upload. Oh, you could have oh, took my dilemma. Where's your... Oh, because you're in space, yeah. Oh, I didn't take... I didn't draw up to six cards. Oh, no. no. Uh, you have six. He needed to have six at the end of his turn. Yeah. Go ahead and grab you another one for these draws. So what do you have over there? You have aliens, planets, and... Yeah, you space. can't throw down aliens. You can't throw in space or a planet. Well... I will place an object right here. An abandoned space museum. Those were my three turns. I have five cards. I now have six. That's you. Sir Ken of the Merle. Let's roll. Where are you? Moving. All right. Yeah, I'm going to do this surprise. Before you take your action, play this only on an opponent's turn before the player takes any action. Take a move action immediately as that player. Move their player's ship, but use your hand and miss mission file. All effects resulted from the move, resulting from the move apply to you. All right. <clears throat> so basically, you're just taking a turn, but it's not eating any of your turns. It's before you take any actions, right? Oh, it does this move is going Play around. this only on opponent's turn before that player takes any action, so you're not taking any actions, and he's going to take a move action to use this to do something on the board. Uh, okay. All right, so, yep. so you're moving one. So now that's an actual move action. Yep. So you get to move somewhere and do something with it. It helps him out now, because he can move into there and do this. So how did that move me? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it moves and does everything you do. Count the spaces twice, moving your ship. That's Except when you move. stop or start there. Yeah. yeah. And then and this is just open space. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or, yeah, I can't even go all the way over there or all the way over here to get a dang. See, at least I could have landed on a planet and got some data out of it. You can. Oh, but you only yeah. rolled a one. Yeah. Ah, if I had rolled a two, he could have gone right across there, got that and that. Yeah. So, but, you know, he's just going to take my piece. Right there. All right. But does this work? Piece. Whenever an opponent takes a move action, you may move your ship one hex. No, no, I didn't take a move action. You didn't do it. You did. So that's it. Basically, you usurped him, but your roll was so bad <clears throat> that you didn't get anything out of it. That's a cool card. I like it. I like it. Plus, you didn't have. I, I like that it's gone. On on. So you well, I was wanting to just go somewhere and get you off of that, and then get myself a piece of data. I mean, I still can't go back here because I didn't land on any other mm. planet. So now I'll do a move action. Six, two, three. You have to stop on a planet. Mm -hmm. All right. He's locked up. Yeah, that's fine. He's all locked well, up. Now roll new dice. dice. I'll just go ahead and do it then. You you get that. He still has to roll. Yeah. He moved you off. So at the beginning of your turn, you didn't start on that tile. Uh, the last turn yeah. doesn't care. That's how I ended up in helping so you. I still grab the one, right? Now roll when you land. So roll when you land. land, so you land it, so it doesn't mess you up. Yeah, you can't do it. You Look at up. that. I helped him out. He keeps taking, every time I'm planning to go somewhere, he takes it all. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. He got the three earlier, and now you got the six. Wait a minute. Ah. This is all his fault. I know. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. Damn it. All right, oh, damn it, Jim. That was your first action. Now there's yeah. no reason to go there. Yeah, you gotta go somewhere else in the galaxy. Because I'm not going there and possibly losing something. Screw it. I'm gonna move. I thought you'd oh, you move a second time. Yeah, mm -hmm. You keep forgetting you move more than one. One, two. So I add one because of that. Add one. <laughs> you right. get one from here. Yeah. I just did it. And then I'm going to discard this, which Steve screwed me over. What does this one say? 
You, you just three. get one. There's nothing special yeah, about it. Just yeah. one. There you go. Look at the well, he data. Gets to, he gets to move again, so I get to move my guy again. That's right. You screwed me over on this one again. How to do that? That's the one I had last time. If I pay, pay pay twelve and I have all the cards in my hand, I can upload them. Yeah. Look at you. But I can't upload them because you have. That's right. Which is fine. And you have one last action. Just like I'm on, on there and done that. Is there anything mm -hmm. special about this one other than it's just got all these tokens on it? You just have all those tokens on it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. This is a booster effect if it was loaded or when you play it effect, which is already done. So it's just hanging out with 13 on it. So what did I do? I moved twice. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you move and then collect, so you're you not going to get your bonus him. one. Nice. I guess I'm going to do an exchange. What? You played the event? No exchange. Uh, refresh. Oh, okay. I thought you played. Line. Okay. And then I get to draw one. All right. I am not getting the card I need. Next. All right. All right, I'm going to plan on going to move. So what I'm going to do is play a surprise dilemma for myself during that movement. Space areas just count as regular space, open space. Okay. One, two, three, over to here. Take them. The discard. Move again. Five. Where would be beneficial to go? What that's you have to stop there and do what? You can discard up to two hexes. <laughs> so we'll go to here, get one of these. I think we're gonna move one more time. Four, two, get one of these. All right, it's my turn. I got one, two, three, four, five. Let me get another card, and I'm done. <clears throat> Just I'll move. Your token thingy goes away. Yeah, this thing goes away. Thanks, Skippy. <clears throat> move. Oh, I guess it's enough. One, two. Collect one for that. And then roll a six sided. Oh, yeah, I still have to roll for that one. Don't have anything but you a, get a one. So no, I get you one. got the last of it. All right, that's first action. All right. Um, let me get this crown on my hands and start looking at it. Nope. I'm going to play this legendary Leviathan. All play. Each player may show an alien from their hand. Each player who does not show the alien with the most letters and numbers in its hand must choose one card in their hand and discard the rest. What does it mean what? by most letters and numbers? The most writing on the card? Yeah. I'm assuming. Each player well, you maybe I won that one? Yeah, you each player who does not show the alien with the most letters and numbers in, this, in its name must choose one card in their hand and discard the rest. A parliament of pan galactic politicians. Beat that. So, but I can't beat that. So I'm going to choose one card. And we all have to, right? Can you beat a parliament of pan galactic politicians? It's no. letters. It says every player that doesn't show it. Yes. Every player who does not show the alien with the most letters and numbers in its name must choose one card. Well, if you show an alien card, you don't have to do that. I mean, the bottom doesn't apply. Is that what? How do you take it? 
Yeah, so there's each player who does not show the alien with the most. With the oh, you still have to do it. Yeah. But you're still showing one with the most, so you don't lose the card? No, you no, got he the does. most. It's whoever doesn't show it with the most. So, I mean, basically everybody's... Only one person can win it. But you're going to pack and go and... No, the pack and go androids. Cool. Yeah, nobody's going to believe. Do you have an alien? I have alien, but it doesn't have that much on it. It didn't show it. Or do you choose not to? Every player who does not show the alien with the most letters must discard. I, I assume we have to all show them because no. it says on the thing to show one, right? No. It, it says, says if may. you do not show one, yeah. then you discard a card. Why'd you throw your three No, you discard card your card. entire hand except one card. No. Yeah. No. That's <laughs> fine. Where is it? Must choose one card in their hand and discard the rest. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was like, wow. Uh, Since each player may show an alien from their hand, every player who does not show the alien with the most letter and numbers in its name. So means everybody and didn't win. So it says you have the option to show one. But and maybe and, and compete to yeah. see if it's the biggest one. Yeah. That's weirded funny. Worded funny. I keep this card and discard the rest. Mm -hmm. uh. So many good ones, but I can't play them because of this. I guess the best thing to do is keep this. Yeah, 35 letters in the name. I'm going to have 21. 21. Come on now, Bill. So I think I can play this. Come on, Wizard. Mo. Can I play this surprise? Which does what? Collect four data here if it is not your turn. So we just collect the two there. Or does it have to be four? He's going to throw it before he has to discard it. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but it's a planet. It's a surprise. I know, that's why I was asking earlier. Surprise, so I didn't it, remember It's a time. surprise, but it plays as a map. So you'll have to play it as a map. It's still a surprise. Oh, it's a surprise. Correct, a but, surprise it goes on the board. Right, but it goes on the board. Oh. It's not an event that goes away. It's a map. So a surprise on space or it just showed up. a planet it has to go on the board. Wait, that, so then that means collect four data here and then on this card. Oh, if it is not your turn. Okay, so I would play this. Put seven on here, and I would get four off of it. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Because I was thinking it was on the tile of the lawn, and I was saving it for you guys when you mm -hmm. came here. So you play it as a map tile, as a surprise. It's really the only place I can put it. And if it's not my turn, I can collect it. Mm -hmm. So at least I salvaged something. He that pulled his surprise out. What were you going to do, Bill? Imagine area. You're still figuring out what you're doing. Dave done did his deal. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to keep one card and discard the rest. Mm -hmm. Then you get to complete your turn and then draw back up. Yeah. Your bell gets hosed. <laughs> yeah. You kind of got hosed because you had to get rid of some good cards, too. <laughs> They're all just take that card, so. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep this one. I'll get rid of the robotic union and Miss Galaxy. How are you guys getting all these aliens? I know. I need even the last game. I, I gave up one, and I'm thinking I shouldn't have done that. I'm so aliens have already been. Been. I almost didn't. Right. I should redraw. Well, so that was sure. your shuffle to second. <laughs> I shuffled the second action because you know we didn't play no aliens last time. Yeah. Discard right. to put an object or alien from the discard pile of your hand, but I don't have anything to discard. But you may be. Or this may be uploaded to an object or alien edge. Let's do that. Oh, can't upload it can an go, alien. It can go to an object. Put it on an object edge. You don't have an object. Or alien. And you can't upload an alien. You can't upload, you can't upload an alien. I got aliens open over here. Is that what My you're card saying? says that anything that's open, nobody oh. else can upload on their own thing. Okay, I'll just keep this card then. Yeah. All right. So what's so your draw your hand back up? Did he still get three turns? 
That was his second. Plus, you're not in space anyway. He's done. Yeah, he has to be in space to upload. Actually, it was an event that allowed him to do it. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. those break yeah. the rules. Oh, that was it. All right, so you're done. I have one guard. First, I will move. Where am I? Five. Hmm. I'll move here, yeah. take the data. Ceiling light. My second action is play an event. Dog Warriors of Zem, choose an opponent. You both roll. You. Me? Yeah. What the? If what? I roll higher, delete a hex of my choice from that player's mission file, which would be the one that has your boost on it. Uh, I rolled oh, a six. Roll a six. <laughs> roll a six and you, you negate it. Yeah, it's a tie. That's an event. Delete that one that's keeping us from playing yes. right. stuff. Yeah, way bright. All right. Yeah. And now my third action. Lightning now. Since I have no cards. God. That was my second action. My third so action. So why did you delete me? Well, you have no move. cards to download anyway. Might as well do it. You should just let it sit there and keep everybody from doing it. Let's see. It'd be a waste of an action later because he can't do anything else. Then. It would have been a great play, though. Keep everybody null until he gets caught back up. I mean, now that I got rid of the card, unless he put them all. You stink. I think I'm going to go up here. Grab a second data. That's my three. I'm done. I get six guards. I guess I'm just going to keep collecting data. I mean, I've got a lot. <laughs> Probably turn some of this in. Yeah. You need to download some people. I can. I only have one card in my hand. <laughs> you didn't say one you could download? No. I mean, I could. But it couldn't download it while that other card was in play. Actually, the one I saved was to get rid of that. Ah! <laughs> that was the one I kept in hand, was the, the, the Dog Warriors of Zam, which didn't have enough letters to win the alien race. Yeah, I guess that means... All right, good. meet's back on the menu, boys. Nice. All right. Let me do a move. Does that mean? Hmm? I got to go to space. Five. This may be playing. Da, da, da. Should just go through that one. One, two, three, four. I had one. You can go through that. <clears throat> you have to go around. Wow. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> this way, but I'd have to stop there. <clears throat> I could just go that way. Did it get darker in here? He turned off that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it was reflecting. He didn't realize it was okay. better. It looks good on there. That's yeah. fine. I can read it. it. Oh, it's I'm good. Mm. We got anybody watching? Uh, I don't know. Over here? That's just comments. Mm. Most people don't put comments. Why don't you hit us with a comment if you're watching? What do you think about this game? I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty quick. We got a four player, we got a person learning, and we're adding an expansion to it. So it's running a little bit longer, um, but I don't think it's gonna overstay its welcome. I think once we get close to the end, it's gonna go pretty fast. It was going fast, he removed my stuff. Well, now that your stuff is presenting, <laughs> anyone else from putting it on? I know, the game would have been over real quick. <laughs> it might have. <laughs> Mm. Get to move one. So next time you get to start minus three. Yeah, because that's my second action. Yeah, I don't want to upload that. I didn't want to be on that. That's right. So one action. And then two actions. Two actions. All right. Now let's turn three. Upload a hex. There you go. This was the one I was saving for you. Each player may discard a hex to force the opponent to their left to choose and delete a hex from their control panel. 
and clear the path of the discard. But I can never draw an alien. This game or last game. You? And I get to draw six cards. I can draw from this pile. This is where all the aliens are. Think so? I have to turn it for you. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't draw all the aliens already. There's only uh, 20. Uh, There's only 20 in there. I mean, really? This card, yeah. Shoot, I had three. I mean, he might not win. Because he's had a bunch and he discarded a bunch. Yeah. Look, he had a bunch of hits. Yeah. Might not be three for you to win. But does the discard does the discard get worked back in if we run through the pile? Yeah, I'm sure we'll do that. And just make All it right. smaller. Are you yeah. done? Yeah. Okay. Roll a six to move. I think what I'm gonna do is just pop right here to move. Now I'm going to upload another alien since you took away my other one. And then that one had an all play on it too if you did it as an event, which was convoluted as hell. You had to get six additional actions, you draw six additional hexes. Hmm. I mean, geez. You get you have to lose six on here if you had. And you play it, and if you don't have it, you can't play it. Anyway. So. So you uploaded an alien? Yeah. No, that alien's in there. No. Oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. So. Da, 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 da. I'm going to move again. One. So do I have to be in space to use this? Load this guy? To upload anything, you gotta use space. You gotta read the bottom. Oh. It's your turn, Dave. Yeah, you should over there. Um... Okay, one, you're using it as an event, and the other one, you're using it as an upload, and to upload, you gotta be in space. Okay. So it has an effect when you upload it, and you can <clears throat> you can do either or. All right. Like a roll to move, move to empty space, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now you can. Well, you know what? I might as well go to this space. <clears throat> so I am in space, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll do this event as my second, which is to upload this thing. Mm -hmm. Spend three data cubes, discard, and this may be uploaded to either. An object or an alien space, and all you so have is alien. Do you have to pay for it, or do you do the event which does the upload? No, it, it's it's dual purpose. If you do the event, you do the top. If you upload it, you do the bottom. The bottom says you can use it for either oh, or yeah, yeah. alien or that. So mm -hmm. it costs you three data to do it, regardless. I'll do this one. All right. All right, so he's got a planet down. That's your second action. And then I'll discard this. I'll discard this to grab a from the deck. All right. Discard deck. Discard a hex and put an object or another alien from the discard pile into your hand. Oh, so that, let me see what I'm looking for as an object. Oh, so you're playing... That's an event? Yep. Yeah. And he's playing the Pack and Go Androids. That was his third one. So he's looking for an object or... Yeah, I'm going to take this object. All right, and it goes to your hand. All right. That's it. And I had to del delete that or discard that one. So that was three. That's it. Done. All right. So... First, I'm going to have to move two, a mere two pesos. One, two, I'll grab it. Number two, do I want to do that one? Hmm. 
Very interesting. I'm going to upload. Oh, no, I'm not. Because I'm on. You're on a planet. I'm on a planet. So I will move again to. Uh, you know what? Why not? Surprise. Mm -hmm. Subtract two from an opponent's roll. Ha! <laughs> he can't move. Mm hmm. Nice. So that was one. That was the second action. That was my second action. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So my third action. So I gotta choose which one to do. I guess I'll play an event. Each opponent must choose and do one of the following. Every one of you discard an alien or discard two hexes. From your hand? From your hand. Mm, I don't have any more aliens. Good thing I put those in. One, two, three, four, five. Everything I have is collect more data, but I have like a ton of data. This so. one was, I'm gonna throw it out. This one's cool. Forbidden world. You seen this one? I think we saw it last time. Land here when once per game, and only if you have six or more data already in your store. Then you get six for landing on it, and you roll and collect three data equal to three plus the number rolled. You you could get up to a bunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has thirteen on it to begin with. Here at least. <clears throat> That's freaking cool. Saw them aliens, y'all are getting rid of. I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of this event, which was cybernetic brain implant. All right, you're up. Me? Emperor. It's me. I guess if you have one here already, can you replace it? Like discard it and replace it? What's that? Uh, your mission file. No, they're locked, I think, unless I thought there was a way you could remove them. If something deletes it, you could delete it from your own, I believe. All right, let's roll. So minus three to your roll. Mm -hmm. Try and tell them so I'm in space, maybe I'll upload something. It ain't like you ain't got the duties. I know. You better start hammering away at those while you have the opportunity. That's the problem. I have the, I have, I have the opportunity. Oh, he gets a course of download. Let's do two. Okay. Let's load this planet. Okay. One action. And then let's do a move. Three. No, you don't move at all. Which is fine. I can't do anything anyways. And you don't move at all. Is that it for you? I couldn't do anything anyways. Still, aliens <clears throat> are just not a thing that exists. All right. They're all left this car, Paul. I was there with at least six. He said there's 20 of them. I had three. You had six. That's nine or 20. At least six. He had a few. He had a bunch. I didn't have any. You had none so far? I haven't had a single alien okay. the entire game. Same with the last game. So I'm going to put down a map. Otherwise, I would have uploaded it. I'm going to move. Here, oh, this should have had five on it. It's the binary moon. Get one from that. This is plus two to something. You can't play it, or can you? You must play yeah, this yeah. exactly to one other planet plus two to that planet. Oh, so that planet gets two more added back to it. All right, so that was my second. Now I'm gonna move again. And this. This says the, the moon starting data is one less than the planet's printed starting data. So it should have had four on it instead? Yeah, it does. All right. Well, oh, I took one. one. So All take right. one of them off with it. All right. So again, I get one to go back to here, because that was leaving a planet into a planetoid and back to a planet, even though it didn't free space. If you're on a planet, do you have to stop on it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm 
So why didn't he stop on it? I did. He did. He just rolled. I rolled again to move oh. up the I jumped to the moon and I jumped back to the plane. That's his reaction. And my three, your turn. I'm drawing three cards. I'm gonna go ahead and draw from here. Would like to deplete that pile though so it gets work back in. <laughs> or do we need to deplete gonna, all of it? Yeah, deplete all of them. I just split them up so it's easier for us to reach. Ding dang it. I'm gonna move. Six. I'll stop there anyway. I get one for leaving that. Get one for dropping on wait, the Wait, 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 wait. Surprise, subtract two from a single planet of your choice. Nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> I have to stop there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll play this right here. Planetoid? Or it, right. it goes with the other planet, doesn't it? Minor major. It says that, but this. Yeah. Yeah, it's meeting this one. If it is plus two to both planets. It may be played adjacent to. Can't be that minor. You can't play next to this planet, though. Yeah, can. Maybe you can go to one of those other spaces. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Outside the edge of it. There you go. That's how I had to do this one. I couldn't put it around there. there. Two more on that one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> My third. I will. You cannot replace one. Found it because if you have it's just like if you've got an optic space and you put an optic space, you cannot upload an optic space to it because it's already full. Okay. Right. So there's no replacing them. Of course, you can delete your own stuff, like it says, remove one or move it around, or but there's a lot that break the rules. But yeah, yeah, you can't once they're in their lock, they're actually considered removed from the game till the second set come out. This allows you to do things with them. All right. All right. And my third, I'm going to refresh this card. So I'm going to discard this card uh, and pick up a card. But this one says, if you discard or upload this, play it to the board instead. You cannot win while this card is in your hand. Yeah. Wow. Can I stick it in the middle there? You know, I'll I'll it the either. Smasher. It looks like the planet's smashing from Star Trek. Discard or upload it. Play it to the board instead. You cannot win while it's in your hand. At the beginning of each player's turn, that player rolls. If they roll a six on the die, disintegrate this. Otherwise, they remove all counters from and disintegrate an adjacent hex, if able, replacing it with it so it's going to keep moving. Oh, well, so you do want to put it on that. <laughs> <clears throat> That's your last one? Mm hmm. You gotta roll a die. You're just gonna start eating everything. Is it gonna eat planets or what? What is it doing? Any card it's adjacent to. Okay. What, there's a player sitting on it? And you're out of the game. Really? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, that, that replaces it, so then you would just be in space. So your planet blows up, and you just happen to get off. Oh, and that... That circular thing that's on the bottom of the card is one of the new icons, which is continuous. This map hex affects, changes the board game continuously while in play. So that's yeah. what that You just was. started the Planet Smasher on. Oh, that's what he did. Didn't you watch the Star Trek TV show? Did you finish, James? Yeah. Cool. Did did I said you Star Walker in? You Star Walker? You gotta roll so your you die first. Easy. If you discard or upload this, at the beginning of each player's turn, they roll. They roll a six, disintegrate that. 
Otherwise, they remove all counters from and disintegrate an adjacent hex. So they get to choose, if able, replacing it with this. All right. All right, so that was the beginning of my turn. My second action, oh no, my first action. First action is to move. I'll go to congested space and choose opponent. Look at that player's hand. Choose a dilemma and put it into your hand if you roll higher. A dilemma, huh? Dave, I'm going to try you this time. What? Roll to do this? See if yeah. go higher? Or I get to look at your hand. Choose a dilemma. And throw all the other cards away. No. <laughs> no! And so short shot. I am there mm -hmm. in space. My second action is to upload. I will upload. Oh, two choices here. I'll do this. A visitor from the sixth dimension with a booster. Add one to my data store whenever a player rolls a six on the die. Every time a six is rolled. Oh. Nice. And my third action. The impossible luckworm. Token. You don't need to physically roll dice. All rolls are automatically a six. <laughs> nice. Until the beginning of my next turn. And every time you get a six, I get data. Wow. <laughs> the impossible luckworm. Wow. That's a good one. Booster. That's a good one. If you Booster. That, Once per turn, skip a two more roll of your choice. It's automatically a six. I got to put that on there. On a booster? No. Once per turn, the roll is automatically a six. He must have more aliens in there. Yeah. Anyway. My turn? Yeah. Well, that thing's gone, then. Oh, yeah, you got to roll the planet eater. Well, it's an automatic mm. six. An automatic six. It's a six. Planet eater's gone. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was going to push it up to there and it would have been gone anyways. <laughs> That's considered a separated space there. You can't get there, but you can play cards. Mm -hmm. get yeah. Hey, nice. That took the planet eater out. And you get a data because you had to roll a six. Oh, yeah. So what does that say? Every time somebody would roll, it's rolled. You don't six. need to physically roll dice. Your rolls are automatically a six on the die. Okay. And then you have over here. Where's the other one? You get right here. Add one to my data store whenever a player rolls a six on the die. Got him an engine. You know, it only going to be one round. Yeah, but I might. That engine. You going to borrow it? Draw two whenever an opponent rolls a six on the die. All two? Yeah. Hexes? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so you're playing that now whenever an opponent rolls it. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. And that last That's one your first event out. action. Yep. And then I'm in space. I'm going to do three. Three. Oh, give me the cool course up there. Here you go. See, he's blowing up. up. I should have drawn up to five, six. And then I'm going to spend three more. He's loading up. He's about to win this. 
She'd have just left that on there, but she didn't. Him and his 47 data is over there. See, I played that. I uploaded twice. Mm -hmm. That's my three actions, so I don't get the extra. That's it. He's got to come up with a, an alien. Oh, he will. He has one in his hand. All right. So I want to move. I get a six. I move to open space. All right. So now, as an event, I'm going to play the trusty blaster. Draw pistol. two when they roll six. Draw two, yeah. The trusty blaster pistol. Boy, he's got a lot of cards to choose. How many cards you got there? He's got a lot. Eight. He'll win. He'll win. He's got the old trusty blaster pistol. Take a hex at random from an opponent's hand. You must immediately play it, expend data to upload it, or discard. He has more to choose from than you do. Uh, yeah, I got regular six. Does he have an alien in his hand? He likely does. You I probably would have put it down had you had it to keep him loose. I haven't seen an alien all this game or you last just game. Drew two cards. No, two more. What you need to do is before you play that, roll a dice. He did. You did. So he's got an automatic card. six. Yeah. But if I have to play this. Then it makes me expend data to upload it immediately, which I'm okay, but I have to be in space to do it. Mm -hmm. So I might I might draw what I need to put on mine. So I gotta sit there. So my second part of this will be this event. Who's it gonna be? Mm -hmm. The Wizard of Mo. It needs to be him. You gonna go for the guy that's that never had a single alien? <laughs> But you just drew two more along with the other ones you took. I mean, I've been drawing six since you guys have been taking all the cards from my hand. Plus, it's more likely that you won't draw what you need. You're going to win on the next turn because you got the stuff for it anyway. No, no, no. Not if you take his alien. Let me uh, draw. Well, <laughs> damn. Hard to think what to do. What's the odds? I would almost try to roll again, force him to. Take two more cards, then take one of those cards. Then, then I have to go over to that space and you play the game against somebody. You pick it randomly, you get to pick, just look at his deck and it's pick random. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be nice if I had the one he had where he looks at your deck and takes it from you. Looks at my what? Your deck. My what? Your hand. <laughs> your hand. Uh, <laughs> it's on his deck. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Kenny, let's shuffle yours up. I did. To get a lot of even space, man, it was nothing. Nothing, I told you. <laughs> you took her my hand last time, and it was nothing. You didn't want anything in my hand, it's all a whole handful of nothing. No, you want it from Dave. He's been holding on the cards. So I'll take these three, make sure this is you, have to you need this card right here. Yeah, this is the card you need right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna take it from you. Hello. You don't have the data now. To... No. <laughs> That's my second thing that I did. The third thing that I will do. Wait, you moved. Mm -hmm. Then you played an event. Did you upload just now? No, it's part of that. That was the event. You had to do something with it. You take it from his you hand. play it, upload. upload it, or discard it. Okay. So now... You're gonna roll to move again, so I got a six. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, draw a card. David, it's your turn. turn. Man, these are about to run out, so it's it's awesome. Yeah, it'll get shuffled, and most of them will be aliens, I guess. You can see all the green edges. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ton of them in there. All right, I'll just play a map card. Need to dig for events. Right there. Uh, after no. you play this legally, 
It's not legally played there. Because you can't, can't go against these. Can't go against these? Yeah, after, go against afterwards, them. other planets may be played next to it. Yeah. But you have to oh. legally place it first. So you can't play next. You can't place a planet next to a planet. Right. Nope. No, that's mm -hmm. one of the states that can be. And it yeah. doesn't look like there's a spot on the board. Planets and moons. Mm -hmm. There's no place on the board. You gotta play space. Mm -hmm. I'll have any move. I'll move. It's the six automatically. Oh, yeah. All right. Wow. <laughs> Bill really helped me out there. <laughs> That's a good little combo. That's some Res Arcana stuff going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like, I go there and stop because it's a planet. Yeah. I go there and come back. It's a planet. You can't go back to yeah, that. can't go back to that. There'd be no point to go back to that. Yeah. You need to go somewhere. And you must subtract three from all your rolls for the rest of the turn. I can still move through there. Yeah. That's when you start your That's turn. That's only if you start your turn there. So that means you'd be rolling three because you'd be rolling six. One, two, three, four. All right. Actually, that's two spaces. Yep. One, two, three, four. That's right. You had six. Yep. Yeah. That was your yeah. first six. section. Yeah. Actually, put that one back. I'll go five, six. Yeah. You got to stop at the planet. Oh, planet. Mm -hmm. Or in that congested space. <laughs> yeah. You're sort of stuck in there. You can't just run across the floor. You need those teleportation oh, stuff. That's your first. I'll do what's an automatic six. Yeah. Is that two cards? Yeah. I'll do that. One, two. Here, get another one. Mm -hmm. That's my second and my third. I'll just got one sucker on there. <clears throat> All right. I don't think you can do that. Can I do that? You're out in space. Oh, shh. <laughs> I'll get this game figured out. Mm -hmm. There's too many idiosyncrasies. No, we do it all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the first like two rounds or whatever it was. We yeah. jacked up. Yeah. Yeah. And we're probably still making some mistakes in here somewhere, but it is what it is. I guess I'll just lay a planet. You can't lay a planet in the Ah, there's planet. Chris. Nope. Hey, what's up? Um, there's a lot of rules on the cards. So each card has its own unique rule and you gotta read them. So the first like turn, you draw your first hand of six. Then yeah, you gotta read. You gotta take time to read everything. And since you're drawing up the six every time, and this guy over here is making me discard my entire hand, I have to read all the new cards every time. But it's not really overwhelming. You can re-roll whenever I roll a one or two. Okay, cool. You're done. Never you're done. work in conjunction with draw, others. Draw up to six and against others. Yeah, but if you. We played it a couple good. times, so we kind of remember certain things. Uh, Otherwise, my, you forget you have certain. My effects. luck worm goes away. It is very unforgiving. This is the take that game. Yeah, because uh, Dave played a card Bullfish. where <laughs> I had to basically keep one card and get rid of the rest. So I lost five cards. But now, thanks to Bill, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, He's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 10, 11, 12, 13 cards in my hand. You have to throw them all in right. six at the end. Yeah. First thing I'm going to choice. do is refresh on a discard of cards to draw a card. There we go. Oh! Dang, that was close. It was very close. To winning? The two. Taking your hand. Oh. So, my second action will be to discard a card, to draw a card. I'm looking for something. Oh. No. This one was all players show their hands. 
but you can immediately play on the board any planet hexes showed with the word colony in the name in the order that you choose. It would not have. I was digging for oh, an event that would, that would mess you up. Um, because I could have uploaded twice, but there's there's nothing I can do. So go ahead and I'm done. You play your alien. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's done. Yeah. Are you in space? Yep. Yeah. In space. That's, all. That's it. I actually look. <laughs> he drew. He drew in. I drew aliens. four aliens. I have one too. So. And that's it. Chalk oh. one up for the emperor. That's twice he's won. Yep. This From one was happy thanks to him. From a comeback. Mine was to get data. I had to crunch up data. Well, I had data from the beginning, but I had no aliens. I know. But with his planet or space, I made a six, and then you putting that That's on. That's the only card that you needed. There. He had that. That's the one card. I won with Austin. Awesome. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's yeah. yeah. The, the Hail Mary from out of nowhere. So basically what he has done is added six cards to his mission file. So now he gets to read his mission file, filling in the blanks with the cards that he has attached. A routine mission. Your mission, your mission is plain and simple. Pilot your way from the Imperial homeworld to planet Gemini through dream space, avoiding a canister of unstable rocket fuel, altercations with the weavers of heaven, and a temporal anomaly, then home in time for chop. Good luck, space traveler. My story. Good game. I like this game. It's pretty yeah. cool. It, it can be quicker. So many wild. Um, we were learning movies. the expansion. Uh, Ninja was learning the game, but. Uh, it is. There's a lot of take that, which we love. Uh, we are not Euros. We play Euro games, but we're not Euros. We love take that. And uh, feel free to make comments. We will uh, get this edited and posted on YouTube and hopefully get people watching it and maybe even get interested in this game. It comes in two little bitty boxes like this. Of course, he has, some, he has a special map. There's actually an um, individual play match for each player. So you can have your grid. Oh, you can buy those too, or you already have a retro style space ever. adventure board and card game I in one and expansion. And we are retro. Does gamers. it work with the expansion <laughs> also? If you have two, it came with the expansion, oh, or it really would have if I bought yep. it. Yeah, <clears throat> I didn't get them because I didn't cool. take up a lot of space, like you said. All right, we are gonna sign off and learn a new game. And if we learn it well enough, maybe we'll record it. Next time. See you next time. See you guys. Good.